friends. My name is Mrs. Lisa, and I want to welcome you to Bell Prez Kids Worship. Our theme for this month is the power of the Spirit. We will listen and learn about how God sent the Holy Spirit and what that power did for the disciples and the people in the very first church. And we will learn about the armor of God and the power it gives us to share God's love with others. I sometimes tell the preschoolers that the Holy Spirit is like a wind that blows through and gives me strength and joy that I didn't even know I had. I experience it during worship. When the preschoolers are singing and dancing to praise God, I experience it when I'm reading the Bible and suddenly see a way that I can use what I'm reading to share God's love with someone. I know the Holy Spirit is with me when I see people who team together to feed the hungry or help someone who is hurt. At Kids Night In, there were so many adults and students that God sent to welcome and lead more than 100 babies, toddlers, preschoolers, and elementary kids. Oh, that's the Holy Spirit. They felt the Holy Spirit call them and give them joy in serving kids. We knew Jesus was with us that night. As we worship this month, be thinking about what gives you the energy and joy to join in singing and doing hand motions. As you read the Bible, be thinking about why you have great questions and how you can imagine what the true stories in the Bible must have been like. When you face a difficult situation, like a disagreement with a friend, think a minute about how the Holy Spirit helps you seek peace. And be thinking, how could I share Jesus with someone who doesn't know him? Even if we feel shy about that, there's power in the Holy Spirit that gives us confidence to mention that Jesus gives us hope. I love this month's word of wonder from the Bible. It says, the Holy Spirit gives us strength, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. Then you will tell people about me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria. And you will even tell other people about me from one end of the earth to the other. Acts 1.8 Thank you, God and Jesus, for the Holy Spirit that moves us and strengthens us in surprising ways. Amen. Stand in and my roots are planted. 
for a long hike today, didn't we? <laughs> and there were a lot of bugs out there flying around, especially mosquitoes. But I made sure everyone was wearing bug spray, so those mosquitoes did not bite any of the campers. Too bad I forgot to spray some on myself, and now I'm very, very itchy. <laughs> anyway, I'm Larry, your camp counselor at Camp Heidi Hills. As a camp counselor, it's my job to help keep you safe like with the bug spray. It's also my job to guide you and to help you, like when Toby got his foot stuck in the mud and I helped him pull him out. I'm just a human helper, but the Bible tells us about the great helper, the Holy Spirit. Jesus had promised his disciples that he would send the Holy Spirit to them to help them tell everyone about God. And since Jesus always keeps his promises, he sent the Holy Spirit to them and they became brave and they knew exactly what to say to all of the people. 
When the Holy Spirit came on Pentecost, the Holy Spirit even made it so that people could speak in different languages. So everyone had the opportunity to hear the great story about Jesus in their own language. More and more and more people believed God's story and they became Jesus' disciples too. And today, the Holy Spirit still helps Jesus' followers share his story with others. But you know what? The Holy Spirit helps in other ways too. The Holy Spirit protects Jesus' followers, guides them to make the right choices, and helps them during troubles. That sounds pretty great, doesn't it? But guess what else? Anyone, and I really mean anyone, can have that kind of help from the Holy Spirit if they trust in Jesus as their Savior. When you trust in Jesus, the Holy Spirit comes, lives inside of you, and helps you. God loves us so, so much. My parents have given me some really great gifts over the years, like my favorite hiking socks. But you know, God is our Heavenly Father, and He gives the best gifts ever. When the Holy Spirit lives in us, He helps us become more like Jesus. That means He helps us make good choices, like not to sin, and shows us how we can honor God and worship Him. <laughs> how amazing is it that the Holy Spirit will help us and guides us? Man, that is so awesome, isn't it? But you know what isn't awesome? M mosquito bites. Uh, I need to go get some itch medicine from the camp nurse. <laughs> I'll see you campers soon.